The death of 32-year-old video journalist Armin Soldin in Ukraine came as a painful shock to his colleagues at the agents France Presse, their news director said on May 10. Soldin was killed on Tuesday by Grad rocket fire near Chase of Yar, in eastern Ukraine, AFP said. Armin was someone who was loved by his colleagues, who was incredibly committed to the story. And to lose him in these circumstances is incredibly painful for all of us, AFP news director Phil Chetwin said. The attack happened in the town's outskirts close to Bakhmut, the epicenter of the fighting in eastern Ukraine for several months, AFP added. Soldin was with four colleagues, who are all unhurt. They were with Ukrainian soldiers during the attack, AFP said on Twitter. He's just shown an incredible commitment to the story, going repeatedly back into the story and then applying to be based in Kyiv full-time. It's someone who understood the risks but really wanted to tell the story, in particular the human story of what was happening on the ground in Ukraine," Chetwind added. He told the editorial staff that the agency AFP working to repatriate Soldan's remains and providing support to his family. I think the thing to remember with Arman, he was really one of the first people that we sent into Ukraine to, to back up our team on the ground once the conflict started. And since then, he's just shown an incredible commitment to the story, going repeatedly back into the story and then applying to be based in Kyiv full time. He's someone who understood the risks but really wanted to tell the story, in particular the human story of what was happening on the ground in Ukraine. And it was the commitment to that story took him back to the front again and again. Je me souviens de lui, je ne veux pas dire des choses trop personnelles, mais parce qu'il avait couvert ma dernière visite à Kiev, notamment. Donc merci Anna Lena de lui avoir rendu hommage. Je veux moi aussi rendre hommage non seulement à son courage, mais au travail que vous faites, qui est indispensable pour que nous connaissions la réalité des faits, pour que nous connaissions la vérité en Ukraine comme ailleurs.